Today on the channel, we take it back to the swamps once again with the Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark McFarlane Toys Swamp Thing. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got the Amazon exclusive Glow in the Dark Swamp Thing. But for all your non Amazon exclusive needs, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10% on all in stock items. Anything over $79. Does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Swamp Thing, an old favorite of mine. Of course, the Swamp Thing movies of the 80s, an absolute favorite movie for me as my childhood, I guess, watching both of those movies on USA, things like that, TBS, you name it. It was always on, it seemed like. But just one of those things that was on all the time, you just ended up watching. Of course, there was the Swamp Thing cartoon. Wasn't quite into that, but I would love to see Super 7 tackle a toy line of those Super 7 cartoon figures. I think that would be a pretty fun line in the future. But as of right now, McFarland Toys is the place to be for some current Swamp Thing figures. And there's no stranger to Swamp Thing figures. I think we've unboxed three of them on the channel of this exact mold. And as we always do say, got to get the most out of your molds. But this time, we're getting them glow-in-the-dark style with the glow-in-the-dark Swamp Thing here. And I'm here for this. I was here for this from day one. Unfortunately, this thing had multiple delays on Amazon. Thankfully, I finally got it as I really felt like I was going to get this totally canceled and I was going to be skunked on this one. And from what I've seen so far, this looks like an absolute next level action figure. If you remember my top figures of last year, Swamp Thing was right at the top of the list. Absolutely love this figure from McFarlane. Glow in the Dark should make it that much cooler, I would have to imagine. But let's dive into it. Let's, of course, do this review like we do in all the other reviews on the channel. Let's take a look at the packaging. Let's talk about it. Let's unbox it. Let's talk about it. Let's see where it goes from there. And we'll compare him to his Swamp Thing brothers later on in this video here but it is very cool very uh exclusive like of mcfarland toys i was gonna say amazon but all exclusives we've been seeing lately uh be at the mcfarland toy store etc uh having this clear cover clear cover this box cover over here no clearness can't see through it nothing like that it's an interesting way to go to market here but we do got Swamp Thing, you do got DC, McFarland Toys, Glow in the Dark Edition, Green and Black Attack, Swamp Thing, DC Rebirth, Glow in the Dark Edition right there. Gold label, of course, Amazon exclusive. Kind of the same bells and whistles over here. On this side, hey, scan me, scan me, trickery, tomfoolery right down here. Trying to, where am I going if I scan this? Are you going to steal my uh, identity? Who knows? And then a very cool looking edition of Swamp Thing right there, that red eye just peering at you creepy i'm here for it i love those monsters especially those swamp monsters oh give me a good swamp thing give me a good skunk ape any day i'm here for it at the end of the day but let's pull them out and of course slip cover packaging just slides on out there it is off to the races see you later i'm probably keeping this packaging i really like the, what's going on here but there he is look at that big old swamp thing there you do get both heads which is very interesting of course the first uh, head, of course, this is the normal looking Swamp Thing. The second head, that was the uh, Platinum Edition. No, no, no. I take that back. Okay, the regular edition was regular like this. Then there was the Platinum Edition in the kind of the grayscale color. Then there was the GameStop Exclusive Edition with the Antler Head. So we've had multiple editions. We'll pull them all out very soon here. Of course, you get the trading card as well. Get that extra arm if you want to. Mix it up, change it up. Of course, Swamp Thing, a very cool one. He gets his arm cut off, he'll just grow it right back. That's what he'll do. But let's get him out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about. If there's Swamp Thing, there is fuss. I'm a big Swamp Thing guy, and it's wild that I've never read the Swamp Thing comic books. I know, sacrilegious, how dare you. You like what you like, you don't what you don't. I'm not opposed to it. Uh, but when I think of Swamp Thing, I think of those movies. And I know some people don't like the movies, I'm sure. But I really loved it. I loved the story. I loved everything about it. I'm not opposed to the Swamp Thing uh, comic books. I love the series that used to be on USA back in the day. Huge fan of that series. Uh, so I like my Swamp Thing. I like it. Um, I'm here for it. And one of these days I'll get around to hopefully 
finishing off and watching some of this stuff, reading some of this stuff. Now, can I get him out without destroying this plastic tray is the million dollar question is we usually do destroy them here. Oh, look at that. I'm perfect. Perfect. Just got him out. No problems. No issues. Like I said, I'm going to save this box for like two weeks. Then I'm going to look at it and say, why am I saving this box? And then I'm going to throw it away. That's what's probably going to happen. But you never know. Off to the side. See you later. Let's dive in here now. We do get this stand. We get a very Swamp Thing-like stand with some of that glow-in-the-dark paint on it. Pretty cool going on there. This is a glow-in-the-dark edition certificate of authenticity. Uh, it is number 1,098 of 3,000. I do like that, that they actually give you the number on the back. That's kind of cool. We see a lot of toy lines that just say it's one of 3,000. This actually tells you what number you are. I think that is pretty cool. Swamp Thing, glow-in-the-dark edition. Here for that, we're going to take our last stand with the card stand over there. Very, very cool. Of course, we do get a little glow-in-the-dark Swamp Thing stand here. Always love that McFarlane gives us a stand, but a Swamp Thing stand, man, playing all the hits here for me. Absolutely do love the looks of this. Looking really good. Swamp Thing classic logo. Love the glow-in-the-dark features on this one. Now we get down to some of these accessories. We get that extra hand like we saw with the other ones. And you can definitely see where the glow-in-the-dark paint is against the regular paint. And this thing glows up. I mean, glow-in-the-dark technology. We've been doing turtle unboxings on the Kyle Peterson 2.0 channel of some of the glow-in-the-dark turtles lately. Glow-in-the-dark stuff has come a heck of a long ways from when I was a little kid where it barely glowed in the dark. Now things basically right up, light up a room, and I've been talking about it. I've been threatening it. I'm going to get a room or a closet, and I'm going to put every single glow-in-the-dark figure in that closet. I'm going to shine some bright spotlights on it. Then I'm going to shut the door and turn the light off, and it'll be like you're in a full-on lit room. It'll feel like you're in the middle of the sun, probably, with all the glow-in-the-dark figures. Uh, but just absolutely wild, and I love this. This little spear hand, always looking really good. Now we're going to dive into Swamp Thing here. You're going to look at the two heads. The tail of two Swamp Thing heads... Both of them got the beautiful red eyes going. Both of them got the teeth showing. Both of them got a little of that paint on the chin looking really good. It's just, do you prefer antlers or no antlers? How do you like your Swamp Thing? I like them both ways. I'll take my Swamp Thing any which way, but loose, as Clint Eastwood once told me way back in the day. Uh, but looking really good here. The antlers look good. We've seen both these heads before. It really is a pick em. For me, it's like, okay, I, now I have four Swamp Things. I have four of this figure now. I guess two of them will have this head, two of them will have this head. That's kind of how I'm going to do it. Uh, you can choose your own head adventure at the end of the day. But love the red eyes against the green. That's what makes it Swamp Thing for me. I love that peering scariness uh, in the eyes there. And, of course, you got that kind of uh, two-tone green color paint throughout. A part of the paint is glow-in-the-dark paint. Part of it is regular paint. Makes all the sense in the world. But, man, it looks good. It looks really, really good. And then, of course, we've seen this whole body multiple times before. But I love it. Every time I look at this, it feels different. Sometimes I feel like I'm looking at, like, a guy, a corpse rotting away sometimes. Then sometimes I feel like I'm looking at a tree or a bush. Then sometimes you feel like, uh, you know, there's leaves going on here. and It's just very cool. It feels very Swamp Thing. It feels very organic, like it's a guy made out of a swamp is what it looks like. And just... Absolutely very cool, and much like the heads, of course, same thing. you got the two-tone green colors. Part of it glows, part of it does not. Absolutely love what this looks like. And I'm not a huge, huge gimmick guy, as we see McFarlane putting out all these different gimmick figures. Artist Sketch Edition, you get the uh, you know Glow-in-the-Dark Editions, all these different ones, different color combination ones. But man, when I knew Swamp Thing was coming to Glow-in-the-Dark, that screams Glow-in-the-Dark for me. I did pick up a Glow-in-the-Dark Joker at San Diego Comic-Con. Still have not unboxed that. We will get to it eventually on one of these two channels here. So stay tuned, subscribe, like I always say. But this one I had to get right away. I'm here for this. And this feels more at home, Glow-in-the-Dark, than maybe Joker does. Maybe that's just me. You guys sound off in the comments. Of course, arms go all the way around on this bad boy right here. You do get single-jointed elbows. Uh, you do get a little, no, yeah, you do get bicep cut on him, but it is a little bit limited by some of the decorations, we'll call it, on him. Hand back, forth, side to side. Of course, hand is removable. Very sharp nails on him, so be careful on that. Poke your eye out is what it'll do. You get articulation at the top, a little bit of waist articulation as well, a little bit of hula hoop action. Of course, head removable, back, forth, side to side. Not a ton of articulation here. You do get the big old splits if you need them for Swamp Thing. If he needs to do some gymnast routines out in the swamp, you never know what might be going on out there. You do get double jointed knees, very tight. Oh my gosh, the tightest knees in the game. Talk about a pinch point. It'll pinch your knee, your finger right in that knee if you're not careful. And my thumb doesn't need any more troubles. I slid it open about a week ago, as some know here on the channel. 
And then you do get the legs, or I should say the feet, back and forth, side to side. Then, of course, that toe articulation. McFarland making it his own. He is known for that. And, of course, he does have his little kind of Swamp Thing diaper going on, like we see with a lot of McFarland figures as well. Now, does he fit on the McFarland figure stand? I would hope so, right? I mean, he was made for it. What do you know? He fits. What do you know? He fits. I I'm shocked. I know. I'm just as shocked as you guys are. But, man, a big, big beast. A very cool one. Uh, one I am here for. Swamp Thing could be my favorite DC Multiverse figure of all time. It is just cool. I love how big it is. I love how all the details in it. And I love all the variations, if you can believe that. And I'm not a big get the most out of your molds. I want every single variant. I love that they're doing it. But man, sometimes it just works. You go back to the same horse over and over and it still works. And here we are with the glow in the dark edition still working for me at the end of the day. We got the other version here. Of course, this is the regular version. Some of you may or may not have. I should have brought stands for all these. I'm not sure if he'll stand. Gonna fight me. Gonna fight me, Swamp Thing. Yeah, he's gonna fight me. But we got the regular version here, of course, against this one. Man, look at those green colors, the difference there. I mean, this one just, even with it not glowing in the dark right now, it almost feels more swampy to me, just with that kind of neon fluorescent green color going on. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And then, of course, you got the big old GameStop version here with the big old antler head here. Now, this is an interesting thing, too, where let's say I'm going to use this head on this one and I have this sitting around. Do I pop this head off and put it on here so he's like part glow in the dark? I don't know. That's something you could do. Once again, it's all about choosing your own adventure at the end of the day. I do got an extra stand laying around. Let's see if this will work for him. See if I can get him to make his final stand with his antlers here. And there it is. What do you know? What do you know? And then the final piece of the puzzle was the Platinum Edition. I know a lot of people got this Platinum Edition were kind of bummed out. They wanted the regular edition. I do uh, understand that. But what I do when I think about this uh, Swamp Thing here, this is like Arnold Swamp Thing. This is like Arnold when he was hiding from the Predator in the mud. This is like Swamp Thing that went down into the mud. That's what it reminds me of. He came out all caked out. Uh, this is kind of how he looks. But Man, oh man, can I believe? I just can't believe here. I have four of this Swamp Thing, all different and all special in their own way, really, at the end of the day. Just a very, very fun figure here. One of these variants, one of these exclusives that I can really get behind is this one. I love it without glowing in the dark, and I guarantee I'm going to love it while it glows in the dark, and I'm probably just going to start living life in the dark just so I can look at this in the dark going forward. Just very, very fun figure, and I love fun figures like this, and I love Swamp Thing figures. Bring on more Swamp thing super seven let's remake those kenner ones let's just get after swamp thing let's make 2024 the year of the swamp how about it what say you though you picking this up did you pick this up did you know this even existed let me know your thoughts on this dc multiverse swamp thing figure if you have one or all four of them, let me know which one you did pick up. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or channels, I should say. we got two channels going on right now, so make sure you subscribe to both of them. Turn on the old notification bell for both channels. You don't want to miss a video that happened daily. Yes, it's daily. Uh, you can also check out all the videos on Patreon much earlier than traditional YouTube channels. Check that out. Best way to support the channel, of course. As you guys know, you can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X. And, of course, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. For the Swamp Thing and Swamp Lovers everywhere, see you guys all real soon.